So a few days ago, as can as Canadians, we all got some bad news, right? There's going to be no election, at least as of right now. This sucks. We all understand this. But as I've also mentioned, has Pierre Polyev gotten the last laugh? Right, because even though a lot of people say, "What are you talking about?" They lost their motion of of non confidence. Right, but he's also exposed the Bloc, the Green, and the NDP. The Liberals were already exposed. We we already knew they were cowards and they're idiots. But the NDP and the Bloc and the Greens, who at times seem to have these big problems with liberal issues and policies, they don't want an election either. But I thought they were on the side of Canadians because Canadians want an election. But they don't want to give that to you. They want to hold you hostage under this communist dictator wannabe and his idiot finance minister, Christia Freeland, who every time she's in parliament uh, during question period or she's being, you know, if they're sitting in a special council meeting and she's getting questioned, she does not answer the questions. Why? Well, first of all, she'd probably incriminate herself and her entire party if she did. Second of all, she would expose herself, even if she wasn't an actual criminal, which I'm sure she is. We're about to find out with the Arrive Can app. I'm sure she knew something. I'm sure Justin knew something. But either way, these people do not want to answer questions because they would get exposed. Now, Pierre Polyev is doing a good job of this in Parliament right now. Right? I mean, the Liberals are exposing themselves. The NDP, the Bloc, and the Greens just exposed themselves. And that's, I think what Pierre Polyev wanted. I don't think Pierre Polyev actually thought the motion would pass. But what he did do is say, hey, look, Canadians, I want an election. You want an election. An election. I stand with you. So let's put a motion forward to have an election. And all of the other parties denied you. So if you were thinking about voting Green or Liberal somehow or the NDP somehow, keep in mind who's holding you hostage. Keep in mind that we are about to have a 23% carbon tax increase on April 1st. Well, that's good because I'm for the environment. No, you're not because these taxes don't do anything other than hurt average Canadians, which is the plan in the first place. Communist wannabes do not want the middle class to be prosperous. They want to destroy it so that everyone is poor and that everyone needs the government. 